Hello and welcome to the special series continuing on NDTV Profit. It's been three years since Lehman Brothers collapsed, the financial markets went into disarray and a severe economic recession followed. In the three years, a lot has been done. Unfortunately, we seem to be back in crisis mode. In this series, we've been examining some of the issues that are faced uh, here in 2011 and we're asking the question whether these are remnants of the crisis of 2008. Uh, today, we take a purely equity market and asset market perspective, talking about what's keeping investors nervous. Some of the big questions we hope to ask and answer on the show today include what is keeping financial markets so nervous? What are the biggest concerns, the biggest worries for the market? Will emerging markets outperform if developed markets continue to remain nervous and weak? And in all of this, what could be the wild card? Could it be commodities? Joining us on the show today to ask and answer some of those questions, Arvind Sanger, Portfolio Manager at Geosphere Capital Management, joining us live from New York. Arvind, very good afternoon to you. Thanks so much uh, for joining us here uh, on the show. Let me just start by asking you about what we are faced with right now from an investor perspective. We're seeing a lot of nervousness. We're seeing one day up, the other day down, and it seems like nothing is getting solved. There are no solutions in sight. Uh, can you sum up for us the investor sentiment out there? Well, uh, clearly there are similarities. The similarity is that you have a financial crisis, and uh, whereas the financial crisis in 2008 was caused by you know, the uh, financial system, the banks uh, and uh, related financial entities uh, having uh, you know, too much uh, uh, assets that were not worth that much and too much uh, leverage. Today you have, and therefore, you know, the resultant freeze up in the financial system. Today you have uh, countries uh, which are over levered uh, and clearly are not able to sustain the levels of debt that they have. And the financial system freezing up because of its exposure to uh, those countries. And I think, you know, it is, uh, this one is uh, much more Eurocentric Last time, although it was more U.S. centric, it had much more global implications where banks all over the world and financial institutions in other parts of the world got, it got impacted. Uh, this time, I think it is uh, going to be you know, uh, significantly impacting only the European banks, and, and there's not that much global exposure. But since the banking system and the financial system is so intertwined, uh, the concern is that if there is anything disorderly in whatever comes out of Greece, which I think... Uh, is uh, almost certainly going to be a, a candidate for debt restructuring. Uh, if there's anything disorderly about it, then that could cause uh, the financial system to freeze up. You know, we don't think that's, uh, that the governments are going to allow another Lehman-like situation to develop, uh, but the markets are nervous uh, till uh, we get this issue behind us in whatever way, shape, or form the resolution takes. Uh, Arvind, just wondering, I mean, we'll talk about those issues in detail in a minute, uh, but I'm wondering if you think asset prices had run up ahead of the economy, and in some ways, uh, they're just starting to look a little bit more realistic right now, pricing in a more realistic scenario. Well, I, I would, uh, I, I'm not sure that uh, asset prices moved that far ahead of economic reality. I think what ended up happening is that you had economic growth, which had a brief spurt, which was very robust. And that was true whether it was true in uh, the U.S. or it was true in emerging markets or it was true in G countries like Germany. So you had strong economic growth and you had equity markets and, uh, you know, and uh, other risk uh, assets uh, trade up uh, on the expectation that that growth would continue. And what has now started to happen is that there are serious concerns uh, about the sustainability of growth and about whether or not we're going into a double dip, uh, certainly in uh, uh, U.S. and Europe, but if you look at emerging markets, emerging markets started selling off before developed markets, and there too, uh, the issues which are somewhat different because of inflation and high interest rates, uh, whether or not uh, growth was going to slow down. So I think, uh, you know, asset markets have kind of followed the growth trajectory, uh, and as the growth becomes uh, more uncertain, then uh, then you know, uh, equity markets have sold off. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.